Why hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Do you like what I've done with the place? I have not done one of these videos in a very long time, mostly because it takes me a long time to gather items that I have been absolutely loving to film like a favorites video and to talk to you guys about some of the favorites that I've been experiencing and discovered recently. I am pretty picky when it comes to products. Um, as you guys know, the market is completely flooded with tons and tons and tons of different products. And I only want to speak to you guys about the products that I am genuinely loving. So it does take me a little bit of time to kind of like gather that list and put it together. So here we are. I'm super excited to say that today's video is sponsored by NXN Skincare. It is a cruelty-free skincare brand that has completely non-toxic products that I have been absolutely loving. If you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know that that's what I've been using on my skin. For the past, I'd say, about four months now and it has been working absolute wonders which is all about the title of this video and we're gonna get to that but first I wanted to show you they just launched their brand new packaging and it is looking so cool this looks so rad on top of my counter you guys know that I love purple look at that look at that before it was in like a white container and this is just like really like smooth and sleek and awesome and just like super fun. So I wanted to share this with you guys, but we'll get more in depth in this uh, with NXN in a little bit. And I'm going to share with you, you know, how I've been using it and why I like it. And um, along with a lot of other products that I'm very excited to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is all about fragrance. I know in the world of cruelty free, if you are cruelty free, even if you're not, you're going to love this. It doesn't really matter. Um, um, it's a little bit hard to find perfume that you're liking, that I'm liking. A lot of uh, perfume companies are uh, sadly tested on animals, so I wanted to share this with one. I want to share this one with you guys because um, uh, you guys ask me a lot, like what kind of perfumes that I wear, and this one is one that I can always count on. Now, I will be completely honest. I don't know if it's Taka or Toka. I think it's Taka. They um, make really, really, really nice perfumes. I have lost quite a few of these. I absolutely, oh, it smells so good. It smells like heaven. I absolutely love this kit. Um, each of these has a different, like a female name. Let's see, this one is Isabel. And I love these because I love samplers like this, like where you get like to try so many different scents and whatnot. And these are also amazing for going right in your purse awesome for traveling with. And this is a really fun kit too, because you can like buy it and then split it between you and a couple other people, depending on if you like sweeter perfumes or less sweet. One of my favorites from this is called Colleen. And, oh, oh you know what? Why don't we just put some of this on? Oh. Yeah, I just love these. I think they're great. They'd sent me these a really, really long time ago and they don't send me any more perfume. So if you guys would like to send me some more, I absolutely love your perfume or I'll just go buy it. Either way, I'm gonna have it because I love this stuff. So I think you guys would really uh, like these too. They also come in full bottles too if you're not, I'm like inhaling it. If you, you know, if you, if you know you like a scent, you want like a big, a big freaking thing of it, they sell those too. So awesome. I think they also have this at um, Nordstrom now if I'm not mistaken. That smells like my childhood. Like, I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. The next thing, um, I tried it out for the first time today. So I will say that I don't have like longevity with it. I haven't used it for a really long time. However, I have, have had it on my face for hours upon hours. And I want to share this one with you. This is um, the It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better. This is a very long title. Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil Free Matte Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum plus SPF 40 UVA UVB. Um, I wasn't sure about this when I first put this on. It was actually this make this makeup tutorial that I used this for the first time. And first I was like, I wouldn't call this full coverage. And then as I continued putting on my makeup and this kind of just like settled onto my face, I was really loving the way that this looks. It does cover pretty well. I did a couple layers in certain areas. So I would say that it's quite natural looking. I don't know how it looks on camera, but in person, like besides the other gobs of makeup that I have on, like it looks like my skin, which is really nice. And you know, obviously good skin underneath helps. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but I really like the way that this looks. It's like not too oily. It's not too matte, even though it says it's matte, like it feels really good and like hydrating. Like it doesn't feel too, too chalky, if you know what I mean. This was interesting. Like first I was like, eh, I don't know about this. And then as I wore it and I'm wearing it now, I'm really loving the way that it looks and 
I'm, you guys can see it for yourself on my skin right now, just like really glowy and nice. So this one's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and talk about what's underneath the foundation because that is so important when you are putting as much makeup on your face and just like putting your skin through the ringer like I do pretty much every single day, um, you really need to care for your skin in a way that is going to hydrate it, take care of it, clean it. So I wanna share with you what I've been using for the last few months and this is the NXN skincare. I've actually been using the Zero Shine system and the Total Moisture System, kind of depending on how my skin is feeling. Basically, it comes with four pieces and it's a 30-day kit, and you can kind of like adjust like when it's getting shipped to you, et cetera, whenever you'd like. It's completely cruelty-free. There's no nasty ingredients in it. Like, it's completely non-toxic, and it's seriously been such a game changer for my skin. When I use skincare, unless it's freaking awesome, I don't really ever notice a difference. Like, it has to be a really, really great product and really resonate with my skin and just really work well for me to notice the difference. And when I use this skincare line, my skin is glowing. My dark spots are way less noticeable. The, the texture is just like awesome. And my pores have shrunk like at least three sizes. Like I kid you not, I've always had like bigger pores here, kind of here and like here. And it was always like something that was really uncomfortable for me. I started using this overnight. I literally noticed a difference. So imagine like what it can do for you in like 30 days. I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite products here. So these two are from the Total Moisture System. I love this new packaging, like this is so fun. It's like a little canteen, I love it. Um, this is the Glow Remedy Powder to Foam Exfoliator. This is really gonna help clear out your skin. It feels awesome on your skin. You can put this on your hand and then you can mix it with the Soft Touch Gel to Milk Cleanser. The new packaging is just so fun, I'm like loving this. Um, and then you will suds it together and clear out your skin and it just like really pulls all the toxins and all the nastiness out of your skin, like polishing it and leaving it really, really glowy, which is freaking awesome. I love doing this a few times a week, especially when, like when you're putting this much like stuff on your face, like it needs a break, it needs to be cleared out. So that along with the rest of the products in here, obviously they all go together. They're like wingman to, you know, the cleanser and etc. Another one that I've noticed like really tightening up the pores and just doing like wonders for my skin is the Power to Detox Clear Complexion Mask. This one just pulls out all the oils and the dirt and all the gross stuff like sitting in your skin and clogging your pores. This has allowed, like pulled the stuff out of my pores and allowed them to shrink up quite a bit. And I have noticed a serious difference with this. I absolutely love this. I'm just like showing you guys all these. So like the, the little perfecting primer is also super cute. I, I'm so in love with the new packaging. Like I really, really love this. Like it looks so like feminine and pretty. I'm super obsessed with this. I wanted to show this to you guys too, if you can get a load of this. This is all this stuff that is not in the skincare, which I think is really, really important. I think when it comes to skincare, you really need to be cognizant of the ingredients that you're um, you know, rubbing all over your skin. And the amazing thing about NXN2 is that not only is it non-toxic ingredients, it's cruelty-free, they've bomb ass packaging, um, but it doesn't break the bank. Like it is so affordable. One month you can get one type of kit and then the next month you can switch it to a different type of kit just depending on how your skin is feeling. That's why I use two different systems for them. Sometimes like I even need the acne one, um, like when I'm on my period or something like that. They also have people, um, beauty advisors around to help you at any time if you need any help figuring out like what's gonna work for your skin. Super, super awesome. I also wanted to extend to you guys, you can get a, an entire 30 day kit for free. Um, all you have to do is pay for the shipping, which is $4.99 if you use my code right here, which is Kristen. And I know a lot of you guys on Twitter have already grabbed it and you've told me how much you love it. So um, let me know what you think when you get yours and hopefully you love it as much as I do. Moving on, this next item is one that I've discovered recently that I totally love. And one of the reasons why well, first of all, I love all of the things that they make anyway. Well, most of them I pretty much like own like tons of their styles. But this specific style, um, a portion of the profits is donated to a charity that is donating and helping Latino children in immigration shelters. So you might've seen me post about it on Instagram. This is Top Fox and these, I will link these in the description box below for you, but I specifically love this style. I've got this style in black silver and a rose gold. And I just like, I've always been attracted to this like really cool cat eye. I love the freaking pattern in here. I think it's super awesome. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know, I think th these are really rad. If you're 
super into sunglasses like I am, then check these out. A portion of the profits goes to a really, really good cause. And I also have a code should you choose to grab these, which will save you even more doll hairs. We are gonna slide back over to the category and arena of makeup. So this next product I actually put in my holy grail uh, base video where I did like my brows, my um, my skin, like my, my base and everything like on camera. And I was telling you guys the products that like I have been absolutely loving. And um, I will link that in the description box below. And I want this video to be too long or like a recreation of that one. So if you wanna see that one, it's down below, but I did grab one of the products from that video to share with you. It is the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I wasn't sure how I felt about this packaging in here at first. It's like a little net almost, um, a little like mesh net. Smells really good too. Oh, smells so good. I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but I tried it anyway and I was like, eh, it's setting powder. Like I have like a million setting powders. How much could I really like this? Like whatever, we'll try it out. And I noticed a completely different look under the eye area. I didn't use it today actually because it was upstairs packed from a trip, but I went down, went upstairs and I got it for you guys because I had to share it with you. I wish I cared about my own face enough to go get it earlier and actually wear it. But um, this was upstairs and I love this. Like my under eyes with this do not crease at all. It's crazy. Like you just stick it right under there and there's no creasing. It wipes away really easily if you're actually baking with it, which I don't do a whole lot, but sometimes my inner Patrick star comes out and I'm like, it's time to bake. What better to use than the pound cake uh, easy bake loose setting powder. It's a very long title. It's like tongue twister. If you guys are looking for a really good setting powder, this one might work for you as well as it works for me. I absolutely love it. You also get a shit ton of product in here, which is super dope. Cause if you bake like Patrick, you're gonna go through a lot of products. So this one's awesome. And just by the way, I'm trying to figure out what shade this is. So I can tell you guys, I think maybe the shade is pound cake. Maybe that's the shade. Look, I have another one right here, let me show you. Okay, yeah, so this is Pound Cake and this one is Blondie, which is a little bit more yellow and stuff. So this is the one that I use. If you're, you've got so, like similar to my skin tone, this one might work out really well for you. These next items are super, super affordable as well. I just took these on a trip with me and I wore them um, out to an event and I had a handful of people come up to me and say, what is on your eyes? Tell me right now. And I was like, well, and I couldn't remember the name of the company for two seconds. I was like, wait a second. What is it? And then I remembered, it's um, Pop Beauty. They just came out with these somewhat recently. These are their Pop, this is Pop Beauty Flash Shadow. Okay, I don't like saying that, that's annoying. It's like Flash Shadow, I don't know. I feel like I only got these shades which are quite similar. This one is like more of a gold. This is like more of like a, like a cooler tone gold. Does that even make sense? What does that, what does that even mean? Um, <laughs> this one's like a reddish kind of look to it. I'll show you guys what these look like. Love these so much. They're awesome for carving out like a cut crease. Oh. <laughs> Watch me get this on like everything that I own right now. It's, it's gonna get all over my like life in a second. So those are super, super pretty. I find them, the way that this is shaped is like super easy for cutting out like a crease like right there, just like in the center or like down here. Really pretty, super affordable, really sparkly, like super, super, super sparkly. They're not just the sparkly cause it's wet. Like it's, it stays like that. It might even get sparklier, like honestly, they're so pretty. Next is the product that I used on my eyebrows today and every other day since I got this in the mail. Um, first I was a little frightened of this because of how like fat it is. This is the Hourglass uh, Brow Sculpting Pencil. It's like kind of shaped triangular. The way that it's shaped makes it really easy to draw little hairs. And because it's kind of like longer and has that nice edge, it helps you get a straighter line here, I find. If you don't want to sit there with a completely like round one and like be patient with that, because sometimes I get it like uneven on the bottom and I've got to clean it up. It makes less room for error, I guess. And then I really do like how fluffy the spoolie is. I didn't think I ever really cared, but how like soft it is is nice because it'll let you fluff up eyebrow hairs. Like if you have some, like I don't have a lot of eyebrow hairs, which is why like eyebrow products are really important to me. I'm, I'm loving this one a lot. I've been going back and forth between their like dirty blonde or what they call it, but, and this one's ash. I find this one a little bit darker. So if I'm gonna wear my hair up like this where my dark roots are showing, I'll typically use this one or I'll use like a combination of both. Really loving this product so far. Next we're moving into, we're gonna move back into makeup in a minute. So I'm like just jumping all over the place. But this next 
Clorox product um, definitely needed to be in this video because I have worn them the F out. These are, so I have these in nude too, but they're from two different companies, but they're essentially like the same design. Um, this is what they look like. You can tell I've had them for about a month and I've just like worn out the like gold whatever right there with my big freaking toe. <laughs> these were, I wanna say $18 or something like that. I find myself wearing these pretty much like every single day. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. If you put this with jeans and like a V-neck, it looks super cute. You could also wear this with like a summer dress. I was almost gonna say a cocktail dress and then I was like thinking in my head while I was talking, I'm like, no, you definitely can't wear this with a cocktail dress. I mean, you can, you can, don't. Don't let me stop you. I will link the nude ones down below in the description box for you, as well as these guys. Um, I just feel like these are just really easy, like slip on your feet, like, but super cute. They kind of remind me of the Alexander Wang ones that have the bigger studs on there. So just super cute. They're not gonna last you forever. They're, you know, cheap shoes, affordable shoes. I've definitely gotten my $18 worth out of these. I've been taking them everywhere with me. They're awesome for the airport too, because you don't have to like do up any laces or anything. And they're just super comfy. I will say that the nude ones that I have that are from a different company are actually a lot more comfortable. They have one more area here and there's more padding in this area, whereas there's not really any padding here. My feet never hurt when I wear them, but the other ones are just like noticeably more comfortable. Moving back over to makeup, I wanted to share with you one of the new Morphe cosmetics or Morphe brushes uh, and Jaclyn Hill palettes. I have the whole vault and they are beautiful. They work really well, but there's one in particular that really stands out to me that is different than pretty much every other palette that I have that I really like. And when I, I did a look with it and I kept wanting to grab it when I was doing my makeup and I was like, okay, put it down. <laughs> like I can't be wearing the same look every day. So I wore it two days in a row and kind of like changed up the look, but use the same shades from it. This one is the Armed and Gorgeous palette and it looks like this. Um, I've been using the absolute crap out of like this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I don't know, like that's just like really, really like light for me, maybe for the brow bone. I haven't used it yet. I just really love this mixture of this like army olive green with this beautiful like crazy like foil gold. And I love a good mustard. You guys know that. I created SGH with Urban Decay, which is like a gorgeous mustard. Um, so if you have it, you know, you love it too, I'm sure. Cause if you have it, how could you not love it? Like mustard shades are just like all that in a bag of chips. So I've been wearing this eyeshadow palette a lot and these are just so pretty. Let me swatch these for you. That is the gold. So that one was coin and this one's called top secret. And this is the green. That one doesn't look like it swatches very well, but it looks really, really beautiful on. And then this is access and this is like a mustard. So I just like really love that color scheme. I think it's so freaking beautiful, like so pretty for a smoky eye, like that golden in inner corner just looks so sick. Um, love this palette, this is a great one. I, I think you can buy these as singles too. I don't think you have to buy the whole vault. So if you were gonna buy any of them, I would buy this one if you were drawn to those shades like I am. Another product that I wanted to share with you over back in going into the hair arena um, is a, a product from my own brand that I developed. I have been using it for a really long time. I absolutely love it. It is, I don't actually have the full packaging with me, which is silly, but it's called Arctic Locks and it is a pack of extensions that are not colored. So you would color them yourself for little pops of color. I've been wearing some of these and matching my makeup with it. I did a little tutorial on Instagram the other day putting these in my hair, but you basically get to color these, you know, it's not a full head of extensions, it's just for pops of color. I tried out so many different um, places that provide hair and this was the best one. It was more expensive, but you know, it's worth it. I have super fine hair myself, so I needed something that was gonna be really, really like good quality and smooth and sleek. So this is it. This one's like a little like jacked up because I've been like curling it and whatever. This is just a really fun way to add pops of color into your hair if you're doing like a really cool like festival braid or a ponytail or just wearing your hair down. This will mix with your hair and just look really cool. And like I said, I love like matching this to my makeup. I think it's super awesome and fun. So yeah, these are linked in the description box below too. I have to put this other item in here. Um, I think this is the last item I'm looking around. I'm like, I think this is all I brought up here to share with you guys. Um, so this last item I'm wearing right now and the reason why I'm gonna put it in this video, even though you can't get it anymore really, is because I've got it on and I feel like people are gonna be like, what is your highlight that you're wearing? Because I think it looks really pretty. This is the Beauty Bean palette by myself and Urban Decay. 
and it looks like this. It's got a little trio um, so that no matter what your skin tone is, you can rock this, cocktail it together, create your own shades, like whatever you wanna do. This is sadly no longer uh, being created. So if you grabbed it when it was available, then awesome. If you didn't, then you're in luck because I'm gonna give one away right now. Um, <laughs> I, have a, I have some of these left from when we did this and I had actually signed a bunch of them for a meet and greet that ended up getting canceled. So I have a pile of them still. So let's go ahead and say that I'm gonna give three of these bad boys away. Um, all you've gotta do is subscribe to my channel here, subscribe to my pet channel, which is linked in the description box below. Give this video a like and respond, like put a comment down in the comment box below. Um, maybe like, let's just say a compliment for me. And then also leave your Instagram handle and I will pick uh, three winners, um, probably like three, four days after this video goes live. And I will send you your very own Beauty Beam palette that is completely sold out. Good luck winning that. I hope you guys that do have this, love this as much as I do. I'm pretty sure you do because it's like, it's like one of the best highlighters Urban Decay's ever made. I hope that you guys were inspired to try out some new products or maybe pointed in a direction of a new product that maybe you were looking for and that you wanna try out based on my favorites. Hopefully they are some of your favorites too. I would feel really bad if I was like, this is so awesome. And then you went and spent your hard earned money on it and didn't like it. But I'm pretty confident in all of the things that I think are awesome. I'm very picky myself, so hopefully you guys liked the video and enjoyed exploring some of my favorites with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you like this sort of video. Um, like I said, it's hard for me to like, I can't put out like monthly favorites videos cause I just don't like that many amazing things in one month. But um, if you wanna see more of these, let me know. I will listen. I will hang out with you guys in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. Bye guys.